Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing a new series focused around a topic that has become a huge discussion recently, and that is decentralized social platforms. This is Julian just popping up here for a second. This year has been rough, but it's never been better to command a six-figure job. The average salary of a blockchain developer is 120k. We have a very special Black Friday offer coming soon to teach you just that. Join the waitlist down below. People have really started talking about big tech and the role of these obscenely wealthy individuals basically controlling social platforms. These days, a lot of people feel that social media should be more of a utility, where the users should have a say in how the platforms are run and what content policies are. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm a software developer working in Web3. And if you are a fellow blockchain developer looking to build the next iteration of your favorite social platforms on the web, I have the tool for you. The Deso Foundation has created a dedicated layer one blockchain designed with the storage and indexing capabilities to actually scale decentralized social platforms to billions of users, unlike other blockchains that aren't built for this at all. And you can hear more about that in the previous video or in their documentation that will both be linked below because it's quite interesting stuff. Similar to how Bitcoin and Ethereum changed how we think about finance, DSO changes how we think about social media. All data on DSO is open and stored directly on chain, which sets it apart from other protocols and allows for one of my personal favorite potential use cases, which is an open content moderation strategy that can leverage machine learning research for better analysis and prevention around the spread of misinformation as opposed to having everything locked up by a corporation. So let's say you want to build something like Twitter or LinkedIn, but for Web3, decentralized and with money native features. Well, in the docs, you can find a whole bunch of apps like this that are already live on Deso. There's professional networking, streaming, shopping, investing, so many different ideas. When you're ready to build one yourself, here's all you need to get started. You're just gonna clone these four DSO repositories here into a working directory. You can CD into the front end project, run npm install and npm start. You will need to be on node version 13.13 .13 for this to work. And you'll end up with a nice little front end running in your browser that looks like this. So you've already got a nice looking shell for a social app to start from. If we open up this project in VS Code, we can see that this is an Angular project, which I personally happen to love. And if we go into source app, we can see all of these components that are pre-built for us. There's an admin page, an avatar component, stuff for NFT integrations. There's a feed with different post components. So all these pieces are ready to go for you to use with whatever app idea you have. Now, now for this front end to actually be functional, you will need to follow these instructions here to of course run a local node for your backend. Most of that code is written in Go, so you will want to have Go and the Goland IDE installed. You also have the option to run a local identity service as well that's already been set up for you. Once you've got these projects up and running, you're all ready to start making changes. Having this easy to set up and run with allows you to focus more on UX, which we know is currently pretty lacking in Web3. You can also check out their dev hub, which is in V1, for further answers if you run into any questions questions during development. That's it for this video. Big thank you to Deso for sponsoring. Be sure to check out their links in the description and be on the lookout for the next four videos coming out with them because there's so much to get into on the Deso project. This kind of opens up the door to more innovation and competition in the social media space. So let me know in the comments what Web2 platform you want to build with Deso in Web3 and we'll see you in the next video.